friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you've been enjoying all of the fall content. I'm gonna be sort of incorporating shopping videos and decorating videos, so I'm not exactly sure in what order you're gonna be seeing this, but we already have been doing a little bit of shopping. We've already done a haul. We've already gotten out all of our old fall stuff to see what we have and see what we need. If you've missed any of that, I do have a playlist labeled Fall Decor 2024. So go back and catch up on all of that. And I'm just going to be mixing it all in. So last shopping video, we did Hobby Lobby. And this shopping video, we are doing TJ Maxx and Ross. Those are the two stores that I have here handy. I wish we had a Home Goods. We do not. I love watching Home Goods videos and all of the good finds that y'all get there. But we don't have one of those. We do have a Joann's and I actually went there on this day and they were not open yet and so I didn't get to go in there. I love to go in there and check out their florals though. Let me know down in the comments if that's another store that you would like to see. Our Joann's doesn't have a ton of stuff but I can incorporate it into another video. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Be sure and stick around for the haul at the end. If I pick anything up I will show you what I got. Let's go ahead and get shopping. First up, I ran into TJ Maxx and I came across these pictures. If you decorate for Halloween, these were so cute. They had a couple of different ones, different sizes. Um, the frames on them were so pretty. Like I said, I don't really decorate for Halloween, but I thought that one was really pretty. And also I see where people like buy the prints at the thrift store and then they just paint their own little ghost or you could paint your own little witch. That would be cute. I saw much more Halloween decor out than I did just, you know, your everyday fall decor. And some of this stuff was so cute, it kind of made me want to decorate for Halloween, but I don't typically. Y'all tell me down in the comments, do you, do you put out a lot of stuff for Halloween? Because if you do, I'm going to go ahead and say TJ Maxx is the place for you to shop. This little bag of pumpkins was so cute. This would be great for a filler. You could put it in a bowl, in a basket, just sitting them around. Only $9.99 for that whole bag. Oh, this little pink pumpkin was so cute if you had a little girl. This one was pretty, but he was all beat up and it was the only one that I saw, kind of that terracotta clay pumpkin look. These green ones were gorgeous. They had some different ones of this Martha Stewart brand and I just thought that green was so pretty. It's kind of like that heirloom pumpkin look. Of course, they had tons and tons of coffee mugs. I always kind of glance at those. This little dog my kids would go crazy over. I could never find the price on him. My kids would absolutely love him. I feel like the florals are always hit or miss at my TJ Maxx. I've gotten some really, really good things, but for the majority of the time, my TJ Maxx just does not have a good variety. These were nice, like the eucalyptus stems. It was a pretty big bunch of them for $12.99. They had the green and that pretty like purple rust color. And then they had a pretty good bit of fall looking stems over here. I thought it was neat the way they had them all hung upside down to me. It looked like they were drying them or something like they were real florals. They always have a good selection of candles, all of your fall scents, your pumpkin scents, and apple, and all of that. I thought this one was pretty. It looks like mercury glass, and then it has that wooden lid, and um, let's see, $12.99 on that one, $9.99 on that first one. There were a couple of more pumpkins down here that were really pretty. That white one actually sits up like that. I thought that was pretty cool, and then there's one tucked back here. I love to see where I think people have hidden stuff at TJ Maxx. I feel like people hide it to come back and get it later. And then this little wooden pumpkin was pretty. Again, some more of the, those faux pumpkins. And that like green bluish color is a very big hit this year. And if you like those um, Sherpa pumpkin pillows, here is an awesome deal. You got a three pack, three different neutral fall colors for $29.99. So like 10 bucks a piece, that's a good deal. 
Now we'll head on over to Ross to browse for a minute and I noticed the same thing, much more Halloween decor out than just your traditional fall decor. I saw a few things that caught my eye. That little platter was cute. Now these pictures and glasses I know are a big hit. You're seeing these all over the place. I feel like they had awesome prices on these. I absolutely didn't need anything like that and my cup cabinet says no more so i could not pick up any of these and halloween wouldn't be really what i chose anyway but if you were into halloween they did have all of these and i feel like they were a really good price I'm a sucker for coasters. We always have coasters laying around. My kids know to use them. $4.99 for this little pack of four. They're just wooden pumpkins. I thought they were adorable. Now I've been seeing these. I think Walmart has like a little rattan one. And so I've been seeing those all over. Apparently they're popular this year. I'm not big on spiders, but if you are, that little bowl was cute. You could put your Halloween candy in it. Here's a few more of these wooden pumpkins like I saw at TJ Maxx. They even had some leaves too. Those would be, just be really cute like shelf decor or styling on like an entryway table or something like that. Here's some more little ghosts. Um, like I said, they're definitely not lacking on Halloween decor. You could put a little candle inside that one. You could even paint this one, do a little DIY on it, give it that clay terracotta look. That would be super cute. I love this little wooden platter. It's kind of like a lazy Susan. I thought that would be really nice if you had like any kind of showers or parties or anything like that coming up. Loved this pumpkin. This was so pretty. I, I kind of regret not getting this. I'm not sure where I would put it, but I feel like that was a really good price on that. $16.99. I love the shape of it and the color and the look. You know, you can DIY those and I have done that, but that's just a pretty one if you just wanted to buy one already set. Our Ross isn't like really big, but I feel like it has some good furniture pieces. These chairs were so pretty, $99.99 each. They had this matching little stool too. I just thought that was a pretty set. I have gotten some side tables from here, like benches, storage benches, things like that. They always have a good variety of furniture. I love these little coffee mugs. I've seen a little four pack like this similar at Walmart, but I thought this was cute. You could display them if you wanted to, and then they just had some individual ones too. I thought this was neat, just kind of like a filler. You could set that on open shelving or style it on top of a book on your coffee table. I was really drawn to these vases. They had a couple of different ones in this green color. I don't know why I just sort of think of fall for this green color and I love this one, love the shape and the handles. They had a few candles too. I feel like Ross doesn't have as big of a candle selection as TJ Maxx does. Good price on this one, $6.99. Love that wooden lid. And then I found these taper candles. This is a pretty color for these. And I always usually get mine at Hobby Lobby, but this is a good comparable price. In my last video, I talked about how I just wanted to pull out all the things I had. We pulled out everything from the basement and in storage and totes saw what we had, sort of got some ideas of some things maybe I wanted to do a little bit different this year. And so I knew things that maybe I needed or wanted and I wasn't just buying everything in sight, although I kind of wanted to. So I tried to be mindful. I only bought two things at TJ Maxx and Ross. So let me show you what I got. 
So at TJ Maxx, I grabbed this little bag of filler pumpkins. I thought they were so pretty. They have the pretty little stems. And I have a dough bowl. Do y'all remember that dough bowl I got from Walmart? I just pictured these in that. And I thought that would be so pretty. It might not work out, might not look as good as I think, but these are great to just put in baskets, bowls. You could just sit them around because they're decent size. These are just great little fillers to have. And they were only $9.99 for this whole bag. And then the only other thing I grabbed was at Marshall's and it's these little wooden coasters and they look like pumpkins. I thought they were so cute. It's a four pack. We are a coaster using family around here. Y'all know I used to do a lot of furniture painting. I was always big on telling people to use coasters on your furniture. My kids know to use coasters. So anyway, this little four pack was only $4.99 and I just thought it was so pretty for the season and it would be pretty with my coffee table decor. That's it for today's video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's completely free. It just lets YouTube know that you enjoy my videos and you want to see them. Hopefully I'll be putting out a few more extra videos throughout the fall and holiday season. We've got so much exciting things coming up. This is just my favorite time of the year to share and I hope that it's encouraging to you. I hope that it's maybe gives you some ideas and inspiration for your own home. Tell me how down in the comments. I love to chat with you all. Give me a follow over on Instagram if you're not already. I'm over there at our Houston Smith home. I'd love to see you there too. I hope y'all have an amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye.